In spring, schools of hair tail fish migrate back to rivers from the sea to spawn. It is one of the most commercial fish tanks to its quantity and high yield. Then it was becoming depleted due to various reasons like environmental degradation and overfishing. However, as people grew worried about its extinction, the fish suddenly appeared in the Yangtze River. In January 2022, staff from the Chinese Academy of Fishery Sciences in Wuxi, China, monitored the fish for the first time and caught about a hundred of them in one net. Why the endangered fish appeared again? What makes the aquatic biological resources of the Yangtze River recover so quickly? What is the secret to the fact that the 6,300-kilometer Yangtze River has become green again? Yangtze River, the third largest river in the world, starts from the hinterland of the Qinghai-Tibet Plateau and flows all the way into the sea. Like many famous rivers around the world, it feeds all creatures on its both sides, giving birth to the splendid Chinese civilization. Industrial production has imposed a constant impact on the environment, polluting the Yangtze River heavily. That was a high price for humans. Yibin City in Sichuan Province is regarded as the starting point of the Yangtze River in the proper sense as the Jinsha and Minjiang Rivers confluence here. It is an important ecological barrier in the upper reaches of the Yangtze, whose trunk stream meanders for 217 kilometers along the city. As the old Chinese saying goes, one has to make the best use of local resources. Tong's ancestors lived off the Yangtze River for generations. The dwindling stock of fish made local life more and more difficult and further saddened local people. After the 10-year fishing ban began in January 2021, Tang Shengrong, like other fisher folk, went ashore and made a shift from fisher to fishery guard. A series of favorable policies, such as government subsidies, vocational training, and social insurance, eliminated worries among fisher folk. In the past two years, illegal fishing in the Ebin section of the Yangtze River has continually decreased. As a result, Fish species such as the Yangtze sturgeon, Chinese high fin banded shark, and rock carp have increased in number, while red billed gulls that used to migrate here have also returned. Today, the ecological environment is being restored gradually. The idea of stepping up conservation of the Yangtze River and stopping overdevelopment is widely accepted. A green revolution has begun for the sustainable development of the Chinese nation. The urban cluster of the Yangtze River Delta is the strongest economic center in China. How to keep a balance between conservation and development here? Ma'an Shan in Anhui province is an important city of the urban cluster. Historically, it was a typical resource-based city and initially built for steel production. Polluting factories, illegal docks, solid waste yards and livestock and poultry farms along the river caused huge ecological problems. Since 2018, the city has demolished 158 illegal docks along the river, rectified 756 polluting enterprises, vacated about 10 kilometers of the shoreline and more than 60 hectares of beach, and upgraded and transformed traditional industries. Today, Ma'an Shan has embarked on a path of green and high-quality development. Walking along newly built walkways by the river, you could enjoy the clear water and lush trees. Yangtze River pours into the sea at Nantong City, Jiangsu Province. You can see a spectacular bridge in the distance. Numerous ships are sailing along the river, a scene of everyday hustle and bustle. 
As the last ecological barrier for the river before entering the sea, Nantong has launched comprehensive ecological restoration and conservation projects to deal with long-term pollution problems. In 2019, drone footage of three Yangtze dolphins swimming together excited many Nantong residents. The comeback of Yangtze dolphins is direct proof of the river's ecological improvement. In 2020 and 2021, the Yangtze achieved Class II water quality status. This indicates Yangtze River Economic Belt conservation has reached a turning point. Measures such as guiding fisher folk to go ashore, industrial upgrading, and ecological renovation can solve the ecological problems and represent a key milestone in ecological governance for a beautiful China. With swimming Yangtze dolphins, flying migratory birds, and a clean and clear Yangtze River, China is embarking on a development path that will keep the Mother River alive and vibrant.